third and five for the Blue Devils. Third and four and a half if you really want to get technical and uh, pass in situation. They give it to Kelly. Kelly barrels up the middle and did not quite make the first down. He got tripped up at about the 29-yard line. And they're going to wind up a yard shy, and it will bring up fourth and uh, a yard for the Blue Devils. And I would imagine they will punt it away. Tressler comes on to do the kicking. So Todd over here kicking into the net. He got four or five good kicks into the net. And Lebanon slow getting Tressler into the game. They may want to just take a delay of game penalty right here, John. Any idea of how close we are uh, on the clock? Uh, Tommy, the clock should be right on it. They took two timeouts, the officials did, to tell the coaches at the four-minute mark and at the two-minute mark. And they just told the coaches just a few minutes ago about the two-minute mark. Uh, Raymond Lasseter has run the clock uh, also, as, as well as Mr. Wynn from the field. So we're looking about a minute eight. I think uh, one thing we need to point out about that last punt from Todd, he did get a, get a lot of pressure uh, from the left side of that defensive line of Springfield and was standing on the half-yard line. Uh, so uh, he didn't have a, a, as deep a drop as he usually takes when he's out in the open field like he is now. So I, I feel sure he'll get off a good punt here. Gardner is back, and Tressler to kick from his own 10-yard line. Here's the snap, a good one. Here comes the rush. Tressler, oh, Boomer. What a beautiful kick by Tressler. Long spiral, going to hit and take a Lebanon roll. Hits at the 40, over the 30, over the 20, down to the 17, maybe the 16-yard line. Terry, figure on that one. That's going to help your average when Todd Tressler kicks one like that. Uh, 59 yards from the Lebanon. 24, it rolls dead at the Springfield. 17, 59 yards, no return. And he heard me talking about his drop, Clyde. That's what he did. He adjusted it. His drop was perfect, and he nailed it. And look at the flag. No wind behind that. The Just flag, old glory hanging down limp on the pole down to our right. Tressler really boomed one. Wonderful kick by Todd Tressler. Put Springfield at their own 17. First and 10, 32 ticks left on the clock. And they hand it to the big fullback, a new fullback who's in there right now and carrying the ball is uh, Kevin Carroll. And he's dumped after he crosses the 22 out to the 23-yard line. A gain of about six by Carroll. Broke through the Lebanon line, and the linebackers had to head him off at the pass. Michael Reeder in there at a defensive tackle. It looks like we've also got at a defensive tackle spot Doug Whitefield, and our nose man, I believe, is Rocky Gann. All right, here comes Carroll again, and he's going to get two yards this time out to the 25, and that's the football game, ladies and gentlemen. Lebanon has gone 3-0 with a 40-19 win over the Springfield Yellow Jackets as we await Mount Juliet, who possibly will be unbeaten after tonight, and those two teams will meet here next Friday night. Lebanon beats Springfield 40-19 after this two-minute commercial. Welcome to the post-game show with head coach Bob Dillard and sideline reporter John Bryan. Brought to you by Fakes and Hooker Decorating Center, your Porter Paint dealer, Southern Home Furniture, Auto Parts and Service, Lebanon, Carthage, and Gallatin, College Street Church of Christ, Youth Ministries, and Harris Brothers Cabinet Shop. Blue Devils defeat Springfield by a score of 40 to 19. Terry Stafford working on the stats diligently, and he'll give us a rundown of the scoring. And then after he gives us that scoring rundown, he will then send it back for two minutes, and then he'll come back with with all the stats. And I tell you what, I think I know why the scoreboard's been acting up. We've been, we're having power surges all over the place. The lights are are going dim and getting bright on us, but. Terry Stafford's got that scoring wrap-up for us now, and we'll go to Terry for the first half of the stat report. Thank you, Tommy. 11 and defeat Springfield tonight, 40 to 19. Let's recap the scoring. Lebanon got on the board first, 6.06 left in the first quarter. Damon Pitt, his first high school scoring pass to Elliott Carson. This one covered nine yards. Lebanon going 73 yards in 11 plays. J.L. Presley added the extra point. Lebanon led at that point seven to nothing. 
Lebanon scoring again in the first quarter. 2.42 left in the quarter. Carson again from Pitt. This one covering 63 yards as Lebanon goes 62 yards in only two plays. The extra point was no good, and at the end of the first quarter, Lebanon led Springfield 13 to nothing. In the second quarter, Springfield got on the board first. 7.26 left in the quarter. Springfield goes 40 yards in five plays. DeMond Stewart with the touchdown. The extra point is no good. Lebanon led at that point 13 to 6. Springfield comes back with only 15 seconds left in the half. Wow. Thomas Clardy, a two-yard touchdown run as Springfield goes 29 yards in nine plays. Collin, Collins adds the extra point, and at that point, it is a 13-13 tie. But Lebanon scores on the very last play of the first half as Ron C. from Damon Pitt, a 62-yard pass, Lebanon going to 62 yards in only one play. After the touchdown, Lebanon deciding to go for the two-point conversion. It is successful as Damon Pitt hits Brian Reeves for the two-point conversion. And at halftime, Lebanon led Springfield 21-13. to In the third quarter, Lebanon got on the board first, 9-20 left in the third quarter. Joel Griffin goes 53 yards with the first play from scrimmage of the second half for Lebanon. The extra point was no good. At that point, Lebanon led 27 to 13. Again in the third quarter, again Joel Griffin, this one from only three yards away as Lebanon goes 31 yards in seven plays. The extra point again is not good. And at that point, Lebanon led 33 13. In the third quarter, we're still in the third quarter. Springfield scoring this time with only 143 left in the third quarter. Chris Trauber from Ken Clemens, a 54 yard touchdown pass as Springfield goes 69 yards in four plays. Springfield goes for the two-point conversion. It is not successful. So at the end of three, Lebanon led Springfield 33-19. And the only scoring in the fourth quarter, Damon Pitt runs it in himself for a four-yard touchdown run. Lebanon going 66 yards in eight plays. Kyle Zachary came in and made the extra point, and that's how we got our final. Lebanon defeating Springfield tonight 40-19. We'll take a two-minute break after telling you the final. Once again, Lebanon defeats Springfield tonight, 40-19. to Football game. Down to John Bryan and Bob Dillard for the post-game show. Thank you, Tommy. John Bryan here at midfield with Bob Dillard. Coach, uh, great win tonight on the rene renewal of the big rivalry between Springfield and Lebanon. Well, uh, our guys uh, came out ready to play, but we just never could really put them away. We had opportunity to put them away the first half, and... Uh, that's indicative of the character that the Springfield team has. You know, they're fighters, and, and uh, they just never would uh, never would go away. They kept hanging in there and punching it out with us. Coach, you had uh, 202 yards the first half alone. Uh, that's on the air and the ground attack. Uh, Got to be pleased with your uh, passing game with uh, Pitt hitting the big tight end Carson for a couple of big scores. Right. We They came out playing us man early, and uh, uh, we noticed that they had somehow another messed their coverage up and didn't have anybody on Elliott, so we hit him on the hot pass, and, and uh, when Elliott gets in the secondary, uh, he's got enough speed that he can run off and leave people. Coach, uh, looking back at the game, a couple of standouts uh, come up to my mind. Uh, Ron C. on the defensive and the offensive end throw the big bomb to him right before half. That had to swing the momentum back our way. Well, it did. They, they just scored to, to uh, tie the ball game up, and, and uh, we come back with 10 seconds left, and Pitt looks at me, and he says, let's throw the bomb, Coach. So... So we did, and Ron made a heck of adjustment on the ball, and uh, their defenders kind of got tangled up, and, and it was a big play for us. It turned the momentum around for us at the half. Coach, uh, talking about Pitt, Damon took a lot of hard hits, and he uh, he gave out a lot of hard hits on the defensive side. Yeah, Damon's a competitor. He He's pretty physical, and uh, he took some licks, but he, he got in his share too, and uh, he's uh, uh, he, he's just uh, did a pretty good job for us tonight. And our offensive line, I thought, blocked well again tonight for the second week in a row. Springfield's uh, not a shabby team. They will hit you. Yes, they will. They, they've they got hitters, and we told our guys all week that this was going to be a physical ball game because Springfield plays physical football, and, and I think they, uh, they'll they testify to that tonight. Coach, I uh, just got word Matt Julich just gone up on Pearl Con. Uh, looks like that the, both the Blue Devils and the Bears will be 3-0 and heading into next week's contest. Well, that ought to make for an exciting night. Uh, Mount Julich's got a good football team. Their coaches do a super job, and, and uh, it ought to be an exciting night next week. Coach, good luck uh, in this week's practice. Uh, good to see some of those Blue Devils that was out earlier. Kyle Zachary came in and kicked a good extra point. Right. Uh, the doctors told us that Kyle and uh, Brad Clemens both were, were cleared this afternoon, but it was about 2.30 or 3 o'clock. They hadn't been able to practice all week, so we didn't feel comfortable about playing them. So uh, 
but Kyle did come in and kick the extra point there the last time we scored, so we'll be we'll welcome those two guys back for sure. Coach, hope you have a great week of, uh, in practice, and uh, good luck next week against the Golden Bears. Back up to you, Tommy and Terry, uh, for the wrap-up, and uh, we'll go back to the station for about a two-minute